As you know, we have one of the most exciting news this year because Mazda is introducing a 2026 version of the beloved CX-5. In case you didn't know, they've sold more than 4.5 million units of the CX-5 over the years globally. So this is perhaps one of the most important car for Mazda, which by the way, is pronounced Mazda here in Canada, Mazda in the US, and in Japan we pronounce Mazda. But whatever the pronunciation might be, we really love the CX-5 because it represents something that is lacking in today's compact SUV market. What do I mean by that? Well, most compact SUVs such as Toyota RAV4, Honda CR-V, Nissan Rogue, I mean, all of them are really well represented in the market and they provide good value, especially RAV4, but they're all honestly kind of boring to drive. Despite their attempt to make the vehicles a little bit better in terms of drivability, at the end of the day, they're still comfortable, somewhat upscale vehicle with lots of room, but without much of a driving character, especially the RAV4 and the Nissan Rogue. Both of them are kind of boring to drive. I would say Honda CRV is a little bit better, but none of them compares to the CX-5, which has shockingly good steering effort. You guys all know that uh, the automotive industry has moved from hydraulic power steering to electric power steering many decades ago. And in that process, we lost the instant feedback and the steering effort that we used to get with the hydraulic power steering because with that, you have really good feel to it. But somehow only two brands have managed to keep a good steering effort and a good feel from their electric power steering system. And that is Porsche on one hand and Mazda on the other spectrum because this is an affordable vehicle. And the steering almost feels like hydraulic power steering. Lots of feedback, it feels pretty heavy, good feel from the roll to the hand. It's actually amazingly well designed, which is represented in all of Mazda's product, but especially the CX-5. This is the sportiest of all the SUVs that Mazda have. And I'm looking forward to the 2026 CX-5 because I think they're going to make it even better.